Hi, so this is the question which I practice today max consecutive ones. So in this question, we would be given an input uh, with an array of zero and one and K, which is like uh, any n number like zero, one, two, four, like anything. So what does this means is that whatever the array you have given, let's say zero, one, one, zero, one, right. And let's say I have given K equals to two. So what does K means that this, uh, this many zeros, I can flip it to one. So K equals to two means any two zeros, I can flip it to one. So I can, let's say convert it to one. I can convert it to one. And after that, I can find, need to find maximum consecutive ones. So maximum consecutive one is now one, two, three, four, five, right? So five, I got as a maximum consecutive one. So here in this question, K is two. If I flip this two zeros to one K is, because it is two, right? So I can flip two zeros. So what is the maximum I got? One, two, three, four, five. But if I flip this to one and one, I can get four. One, two, three, four. Four consecutive one. So what our output is? This one. Okay, so the question is clear, right? So generally, whenever the consecutive, we have to find something from an array, right? Uh, one thing intuition which I always go for is like go for sliding window because, because in an array, if you are trying to find anything consecutive manner, then sliding window generally I find out the best approach. And that's what I did here also. And turns out it worked well, it got accepted and beat 74% of the users with Java. So here what I have done is let's say an array is given, I am taking any random values 1, 1, 0, let's say 1, 0, right? And let's say given K is equals to two, right? So we need to find out the maximum. Uh, we know that what is the maximum will come if I say, switch it to one, if I switch it to one, one, two, three, four, five, five will come. But what, how I am doing is, so now array is given, K is given, K equals to two. What I have done is window start is zero. So this is the index zero, one, two, three, four. So I have kept my start here and end is also at index zero. So this is also end. And output I have put, output is currently zero. I am iterating till window end is less than nums of length. Window end is less than nums of length. So generally here, if you see that in the sliding window, either both start and end at the same point or start is behind the end. So I am checking till end is less than this array length. Right, so this is my terminating condition of the loop. Now here, if you see the first condition of inside the loop, so end, so end is currently at index zero. So zero is less than nums length. Yes, now uh, array length is five. So it is less than, it will go inside. If window end value in the nums array is equals to equals to one. Yes, it is equals to equals to one. I am doing window end plus plus. I can safely increment the end window. Right, it goes back to the top. Is window end is less than nums length? One less than five? Yes, it will go here. If nums of window end is equals to equals to one, yes, it is equals to equals to one. I can do end plus plus. I can do end plus plus. Right. Now again, check that hey, is two is less than five? Yes, it goes inside. Window end is equals to equals to one. Nums of window end? No, it is zero. Now, when it is zero, it goes to the second condition. Here I am checking if nums of window end is equals to equals to zero. Yes, it is equals to equals to zero and K is greater than zero. Yes, K is greater than zero. Yes, I have two K's left means I can swap two zeros to one. So I can safely increment window and plus plus and becomes here and also decrement it one. Right now it goes to the top window end is three, three less than five. Right. So it will go inside is, is window as equals to equals to one. Yes. It can safely increment to here. Right. And now here it is checking that hey window end is less than nums length. Yes, it is less than nums length. Four is less than five. Window end value is equals to equals to one. No, it is zero. No, it is zero. So when it is zero, it goes to the second condition. 
and k is greater than zero yes k is still one left so it will simply do n plus plus right and now it is checking five less than five yes and it will become false so i go out and i check the maximum output is currently zero max of zero comma and end is at five right so five minus zero this is end minus start so max is five output is five now here if you see that what if now if you see that if the same input if the if I, if we work on the same input but k is given as one let's say what would happen in that case okay so now let's say that uh, k is given as one and start and end is initially at this point okay so now let's see that how it works in that scenario now so here what i'm doing is zero is less than five yes and uh, is one so it will become end here right so again it will go to the loop one is less than five and end is this one again it will properly go here and <clears throat> two is less than five condition true value is one for the end no it is zero it goes to the second one it checked that okay value is zero but i have any k value left yes k is given as one so I will do n plus plus and I will decrement this case to zero. Now I have no more k, right? Now I will do uh, here, three is less than five. Yes, condition becomes true. It goes inside and the uh, n value is one. Yes, it will go n plus plus. It will reach till here. Four less than five. Yes, condition become true. If nums of end is equals to equals to one no it is zero second it will check hey does it uh, it is zero but the, do you have any k left can i flip it no k is also zero you can't flip it now it goes to the third condition that now i have to increment the start but before incremented the start this is one of the window i got so i am doing max of whatever the output we have currently zero comma and minus a start so 4 minus a start is 0 so it is currently i am getting 4 right because only one 0 i can flip it right so currently this is i got 4 so output i have put 4 now i am checking hey now i have is this a start which i am incrementing is this has 0 no it is 1 right so i can simply do start plus plus my start is here now now again it goes a hey, end is less than length yes end is 4 4 is less than 5 okay does end is 1 no it is still 0 here I am checking okay value is 0 can uh, k do you have left no k is still 0 you can't do anything now it's checking the third condition means I have to increment the start again if I have to increment the start again, first I have to compute the window uh, now. So the window now would be start and end here. So how many max is 4 comma 4 minus 1, right? 4 minus 1. So maximum is 3 ones I can get this 3 ones, right? So but already 4 I have already got. So I am not changing the output. So it is already 4. So now I am start value is equals to equals to zero. No, I am doing a start plus plus. So I am doing a start here. Okay. So my start got incremented. Now when the start got incremented, I am again checking and is four less than five? No. Yes, it is become true. Is value is one? No, it is still zero. Okay. If it is still zero, do you have any K left? Can I flip it to one? No, K is still zero means i have to increment the start again so now here if you see that the output would again be four only because uh, currently we haven't incremented but now here if you see that the start is zero the start is zero so now here uh, when i increment the start now value is zero right i need to 
increment the k also because one zeros we have flip it to one now start window has been removed incremented so this zero whatever we have incremented that now again available to us right so now start is here and uh, it goes back to again four less than five true it will check window end equals to equals to one no it is false it is zero it goes window end is equals to equals to zero k is greater than zero yes k is greater than zero i have one left so what it will do is n plus plus so n will become here and it goes out of the loop and it will check max of output four comma n minus a start end is five a start is at three which is max again four only so output get four so you got it this is the approach which i use time complexity is big go of n space complexity here is big go of one right and it's worked well okay guys thank you bye